So drones are changing the landscape of war and the majority of these drones do not have thermal imaging capabilities yet are still highly accurate. So I wanted to take a Maverick 3 thermal out onto the ground using the thermal camera and see just how accurate and easy it is to acquire targets. Okay, so let's make a move. I'm literally just gonna head down to a space that I know uh, can be, I wouldn't say busy, but there will be people there. there. Might be some dog walkers and just some people walking. So let's go down there and let's see just how easy it is to pick those people up. And not only do I wanna pick them up, I'm gonna try and pick them up without them even knowing that I'm anywhere near them. So let's see what happens. Good news is there's cars in the car park, which hopefully means there'll be people out and about. So I should be able to uh, have a good look and see if I can find some potential targets. Let's go. So this is the area that we're gonna search for, or search for people. Actually the other side of those trees, there is another large area, so we'll have a little look over there. So yeah, we're gonna set base up and see what we can find. Now, if I was doing this for real, obviously I'd be hidden. Uh, but because I need to keep line of sight on my drone, I'm going to be out in the open. But the controller allows me to really go anywhere I want and actually see what the drone sees. But I say to keep in line with the regulations, I'm going to make sure I can see my drone all the time. So we're going to set base up somewhere nice and obvious. Okay, so the wind picked up a little bit, which means you can't really hear what I'm saying right now, but let's do a voiceover. So yeah, here's the bench. This is going to be our base where we're going to launch from. It's right in the middle of our search area, which will give us great line of sight on the drone at all times. I've had a look around. I can't see loads of people, which is great because there will be people here. So it's going to be a little bit of a hunt. It's not going to be as so straightforward as seeing them and sending my drone over them. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we see when we get up into the air, get the thermal camera on and see how easy it is to spot people walking around. Okay, so we're airborne now overlooking the field invisible camera. I'm just gonna switch it to thermal camera and straight away we can see three potential targets which were not that clear from the visible camera. So let's lock in on one and identify it as a target. So we can climb slightly higher. We are completely undetectable. We will take a little zoom in and then switch it to visible just to, like I say, confirm and identify the target and there we have a lady with her two dogs now we are quite some distance and at quite some height she has no idea whatsoever that we are where we are and that we are watching her so let's go and have a look for a, another target okay so we are going to sweep the area and i have sped this footage up a little bit but we are looking now for any heat returns and any movement and there we see coming out the tree line a heat return and a moving heat return to indicate that it is an activity so we're going to zoom in switch to visible and now we're going to identify our second target we have found two targets now in less than one minute of scanning so let's now sweep back and have a look to see if we can identify a further target. Again, we've been looking for less than 25 seconds. We've got a heat return. We've got movement. We are again still some distance away. We have flicked to the visible. We've zoomed in and clear as date. There is a, another target that we just wouldn't be able to see if we were using a non-thermal capability drone and we're going to we're going to prove that by showing you what we could see from our current height and switching it to thermal now you can suddenly see very clearly that moving target let's do one more scan see if we can identify another target and did you see it so let's sweep back center of the screen right now we have heat returns of three to four individuals we've just lost them as they've gone under the tree line but we're going to stay patient and hope that they re-emerge and they're just starting to come through now again two three at least three potential targets let's switch it to the visible now you can see absolutely clear as day we have four targets on the ground that we may have missed if we didn't have the thermal capability so we spent a bit of time watching them they moved underneath a tree so we again hovered from some distance they've absolutely no idea that we're here again flicking to the visible we can see again four targets we can even see their actions and their activities and if these were soldiers we could see what weapons that they were carrying 
So that's it, back in the car and uh, heading back. So loads of success. You've seen the video now uh, and you've seen how easy it is to actually identify, we're gonna call them targets, but identify people on the ground. You know, the drone was quite a few hundred up in the air. It was quite a few hundred meters away from a lot of these people. They had no idea they were even being watched. Um, and that's how easy it is to get a drone to identify targets and you know if you weaponize them to obviously attack these targets as well so hope you enjoyed it if you did like and subscribe and we'll bring you lots more of these thermal imaging camera drone videos soon if you've got any ideas comment below and i'll see if i can get it done catch you soon